I've always had an idea that I'd make a highly efficient criminal. Uh, let's hope so. Uh, this is my chance of a lifetime in that direction. Uh, look at this. What is it? First-class burglary kit. Uh, Nickel-plated jemmy, diamond-tipped glass cutter, adaptable keys. Uh. Yes, every modern improvement which the march of civilization demands. You, uh, you brought the dark lantern. Yes. And these. Oh. Yeah. Masks. I made them out of black silk. Oh, oh I see you have a, a strong natural turn for this sort of thing yourself. Yes, well done. You see, not a glimmer of light in the windows. <laughs> oh, yes, everything's going splendidly. Good. What about the dog? Oh, uh, Aggie, uh, that's my fiancé, would have chained it up hmm? to give me a clear run at her room. Good. God. No, save the scruples for later, Doctor. Besides, she's doomed to disappointment. Mm. Now, that's Milberton's bedroom, next door to the study, where the safe is. You're sure he'll be asleep? Yes, yeah, and impossible to wake, according to Aggie. Yes, it's a standing joke in the servants' hall. Now, that door leads straight into the study. Uh, it'll be locked and bolted. Too noisy to open. What then? Around the side. Follow me. of those edges. They raise a sharp. Thank you, Doctor, but I have done this before. Now, the key is always left in the log. Ah. Ah. Yeah. So, from this moment on, we're criminals. Actually, we've been criminals from the time we walked through the gates, entry with intent to burgle. When I put my hand through the glass, the offence changed to burglary proper. Section 25 of the Larceny Act. Maximum punishment, life imprisonment. Thank you very much for the information. You're welcome. Now, I suggest we leave the technical discussion until after we're finished. It's pitch black. I light the lantern. No, no, not until we're in the study. Now, I know the way. Give me your hand. Yeah. That's very good. Ready? Ready. Come then. To work. This is the door to his bedroom. Right. And then... Yes, the study. Locked. No. No, no, wait, wait, wait. You hear anything? Nothing. Yes, nor I. Right, very well. <gasps> Good grief. Quiet, 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 quiet. Oh, yeah. He didn't hear it. Come on. Why is the fire still burning? Uh, I don't know. Wait, I'll... Uh, I'll just... A sound from the bedroom. Good. I'll, uh, I'll unlock the garden door. Secure our retreat. Right, good man, good man. And I'll just. Uh, Jimmy. Holmes? Holmes? What? 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 It was unlocked all the time. We could have walked straight in. Yes, I don't like this. So we've no time to lose. Um, can I do anything? Yeah, 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 stand by the door. If you hear anyone coming, lock it, and we can get away through the house. Right. If someone comes the other way, um... Uh, yes? What, well, we can get out to the garden if the job's done, or, um... Yes, hide behind those window curtains if it isn't, do you understand? Uh, yes, perfectly. Right, well, there, to your post, then. I'll see what I can do with the safe. The boy I love is up in a gallery The boy I love is looking down at me There he is, can't you see? Where are you, Billy? Oh. 
I know, Puss. It's very late, isn't it? Yes. But it should be worth it. Ah, yes. Now, will she be on time, Puss? Oh, admirable. Down you go. Patience, patience. A visitor. At this time of night. Oh, come in, come in, my dear. Oh, what a terrible night, don't you agree? Well, I must say I approve of the veil. I wish all my uh, suppliers were so cautious. Well, my dear, you've made me lose a good night's rest. You really couldn't come at any other time, eh? Hmm? No, sir. Yes, well, I dare say the Countess is a harsh mistress. Well, you have your chance to get level now. Yes. Bless the girl. What are you shivering about? Put yourself together. Now, let's get down to business. Uh, you say that you have five letters which compromise the Countess d'Albert. You want to sell them. I want to buy them. So far, so good. As it only remains to fix the pro... Great heavens. Well, well. Is it you? The woman whose life you have ruined. <laughs> ah, you are so very obstinate. Why did you drive me to such extremities? I assure you I wouldn't hurt a fly of my own accord, but every man has his business. What was I to do? I put the price well within your means. You wouldn't pay. So you sent the letter to my husband and he broke his heart and died. Oh, pray accept my deepest condolences. You unspeakable hypocrite. Don't imagine that you can bully me. You will ruin no more lives as you've ruined mine. You will wring no more hearts as you've wrung mine. What are you doing? Freeing the world of a poisonous thing. Oh, no, no. Oh. My God. Now, Watson. I might not be too late. No. This is for my husband. Good God above! His face! There's no time for that! Mm. The servants will be here in moments. Help me! Mm. 
After burning all of the victim's private papers, ah. the murderers made their escape across Hampstead Heath. One of the two masked men was caught by the undergardener and got away only after a struggle. He was a middle-sized, strongly built man with a square jaw, a thick neck and a moustache. Yes, well, rather vague. That might be a description of you. That's not in the least funny. Uh, yes, actually, I agree. <coughs> Who's on the case? Lestrade. Oh, well. Holmes, he's no fool. No, but it's extremely unlikely that he'll look in this direction. Why shouldn't he? Well, Scotland Yard have had their eyes on Milberton for some time. Now, Lestrade will decide that the killers were being blackmailed and that their sole object was to avoid social exposure. That's hardly going to suggest us. Uh, I wish I had your certainty. Watson, our client's happiness is secure. A sizable part of the population of London can sleep easier tonight. What's wrong? <sighs> well, it's this. In that room when I was, uh, when I was on guard and you were working on the safe. Yeah. Uh, I, I don't think I've ever been as thrilled. Not once. Not in all the times we were on the right side of the law rather than the wrong. I don't know, I, uh, I rejoiced in it. Yes, yes, it's a powerful drug. And besides, our cause was right. It was a, a chivalrous mission. Yes, yes, of course. But what happened then was none of our affair. Well, how can you say that? We stood and watched while a murder was committed. Could you have prevented it? Perhaps. I don't think so. <laughs> Watson, what we achieved would have put Milverton out of action for a year. Well, perhaps less. Instead of which... Uh, there must have been another way. No, no. There are some crimes which the law can't touch. And you believe in private revenge? I believe in justice. In Charles Augustus Milverton, Sherlock Holmes was played by Clive Medicine and Dr. Watson by Michael Williams with Peter Vaughan as Charles Augustus Milverton and Pauline Jameson as the Duchess. Aggie was played by Alice Arnold, Harry Logan by David Thorpe, Lady Eva by Danielle Allen, and The Doctor by Peter Penry Jones. The pianist was Michael Haslam, and the violinist was Leonard Friedman. Charles Augustus Milverton was dramatised for radio by Bert Cools and directed by Enid Williams. <laughs>